Alright, hello ladies and gents, and welcome back to Star Wars and the Knights of the Old, Re Knights of the Old Republic, the Sith Lords. Um, the last time we left off was a long time ago. Um, just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't go too far. I just went up some ramps, or down some ramps. Um, this is a different character because as I've answered on some of the, uh, some of the comments I've gotten, uh, I had to hard drive to uh, to wipe my hard drive for you know just because something got out of hand, and I wanted some other stuff and I couldn't get it on the hard drive I had, so I had to uh, restart. So I've got a new character, but I tried to stay as faithful to the uh, to the original character as I could, but you know things happen. So. All right. Anyways, we're still uh, we're still trapped on the fuel station, and Kreia, I think her name is, just lost her hand. So there's that bullshit happening. So let's try and get out of here. Obviously, we'll die if we go out there. I know once we get on the ship, he can make us uh, T3, M4. I know he can make us some nice little s spikes, but I don't know if he can right now. Yes, he can. There we go. And bam. Open the decommand to the purple. Yeah. Nobody dying on this place. No, 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 no. Um, very soon, the reason I haven't been getting back to uh, Let's Play as quickly as I could have is because I've uh, been working on a new co op Let's Play with Ivor, and I want to get a good number of videos done before I actually start releasing them, so that if we take a break or something, you know, I won't have to, like, stop releasing videos. Now here comes a cutscene bit. Um, the cutscenes in this game, the bits where, like, it flashes out and goes into an AVI type video, they don't really, uh, they don't really impart any information, so I'm probably not going to be leaving them in, because it's just an extra hassle, and all they do is usually, like, show us landing or taking off. So, uh, unless something important happens in it, I'm not. I'm just not going to record them. So, yep, here we go. This is the loading ramp to the Ebonhawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Bye-bye, Kreia. Quick, we're going to need some time to fire up the engines. Let's give the laser turret a workout. One crashed game later. Uh, basically, all that happened there was that and said, Quick, we need to hold off these guys. Give the laser turret to work out. The laser turret pops out. And then now we're here. So, now the trail caught up. I hate how unresponsive this gun is. Uh, this directly affects how many people are. Uh, Your hand, what happened? There is no time. We must leave. If they hit us, we're dead, but if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. You said it. 
Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Um, basically, what's happening right here is we're being shot at by the ship we just escaped from. So, yeah. The Harbinger, the big Republic ship that flew in before. You guys remember. Remember, right? I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova. That right there was an example of one of the very few, very, but very glaring problems I have with this game, of where it it's got really good voice acting all the way through, but there's times where they obviously slid in a different track of audio. Like right there, one second his voice was deeper and you could see that he was like talking and everything, and then a second later it was like a completely different tone of voice and it's like, what? <laughs> but anyways. <clears throat> Now with all these asteroids around us, we'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. Just do your best and keep your distance. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. He understands me. We're gonna be all nice and good and everything. No, there may be someone still alive in the facility. Hold on! This is gonna get a little rocky. Planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. All right, so note to self, recording the AVI, or the little mini-movies, crashes this game. So, yeah, anyways. Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Whatever lies you tell yourself are of no consequence. The Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. I need to keep remembering to read this stuff off for this Let's Play because there's not a voice and other people might not be able to read it. Alright, but last of the Jedi? That can be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantuni or... Coruscant. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the womb of a thousand fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. If any survivors still live we need to warn them perhaps but they are jedi no longer if the sith have not already slain jedi? them then they will not but help you not. nor can you help them yes to aid in the recovery effort there many roads lead to telos including ours not like we have much of a choice the paragus astrogation charts being what they are it is where we must go and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Let's see, what do we have, what do we have? How did you know I was on board the Harbinger? Care to explain how you tracked me down? Looks like I didn't cover my tracks well. I've heard enough, none of this interests me. So three choices basically saying the same thing, worded differently, and then one basically saying, I don't care what's going on. So let's go with the, the nicest one. You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. How come I didn't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. 
Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. Hmm. This is one of the things. I, I haven't actually finished Knights of the Old Republic. I've gotten up to the final boss guide. Didn't really finish it. Uh, through a series of random events. But mostly laziness. Anyways, but uh, I I don't to this day understand how Kreia got on the Ebon Hawk, and she's referring to this we, and I'm always wondering if it's like the guy from the last game who's come to find you, and if so, where did he go? Did he die? Kind of thing. I don't know. Anyways, that's an unusual set of coincidences. Well, true. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How did we get to Baracus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. <laughs> Don't talk to him that way. Exactly. He says he repaired the ship and got us to progress. Repaired this ship? My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get! It's not very nice. We got away from the Sith. Now, how do we stop That them? is not an easy question to answer. Stop this threat stop. is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Mm, that just sounds like a coward's way out. I don't think we can fight. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Hmm... What do you, you mean? fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? I don't know if you've noticed, but right now all I seem to have is a very broken ship, and... Yeah. <laughs> what else am I going to be sacrificing? These gloves? Very nice gloves. I don't think I want to sacrifice my gloves. Can I keep the gloves? Um... This is self-defense, not war. Mm, the Mandalorian Wars. Yeah, let's go with the Mandalorian Wars were my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. A lot of choices here. This is one of the reasons I really like this game. It's been so long that I'm not really sure the exact path you're supposed to take. There was a time when I like knew like one, six, two, three, four, one, whatever, like to get get through the conversation with the exact outcomes that I wanted. But it's been so long. Hmm. If we do not try, then we have lost anyway. <laughs> Like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. You're missing a hand! questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Not your Look, opinions. Uh, ha! Not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, like especially with that hand of hers. You mean the lack. Anyways. You're right, she may need help. Can you handle things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I'll go check on her then. Because it's kind of would be stupid for me to go, why does she need my help? Oh, I don't know. Could it be the missing hand? <laughs> Level up. Alright, let's look at our skills. We've got some in computer use, awareness, and obviously in persuade. Persuade, very useful for your main at, your main character. And of course, security. And I have one point left. No, I don't. I lied. I'm sorry. Okay, let's look at this. 
Um, don't really plan on using heavy armor, and I don't have a lightsaber yet, so there's no point in going into that. Hmm. Let's see, I think I'm going to work on getting, you know, these, because, well, I can't use master two-handed weapons. I have to get to level eight. Mm, me, me, me. Mm, flurry or power attack? I think I'm going to go with flurry. I like flurry. It's a flurry. Anyways. Mm, dominate mind. Disable droid. I think I'm going to go with dominate mind. Alright, except... Okay, let's... Let's 